Among the 259 passengers and crew boarding Pan Am Flight 103 at London's Heathrow Airport is 36-year-old Michael Bernstein. We were college sweethearts. We were very, very happy. He had a wonderful sense of humor, and uh, he was a terrific father, loved his children very much. At 6.25 p.m., the plane takes off for New York. By 7.03, Pan Am Flight 103 is 31,000 feet over Lockerbie, Scotland. A device had blown about a 20-inch hole in the cargo hold. The plane was ripped apart at 35,000 feet. What occurred was a massive, massive fireball coming out of the sky, 200,000 pounds of ignited jet fuel. That's like a giant bomb going off and registered as if it was an, an earthquake. That was the magnitude. It wiped out a dozen or more homes. Some people in those houses were obliterated. They never found any remains of anybody. 270 people are killed in the Lockerbie disaster, including Stephanie's husband, Michael. It wasn't until I was in the basement on the exercise bike watching the news that I saw uh, a news story about this plane that had gone down in Scotland. But I had the proverbial sick feeling in the pit of my stomach knowing that it could have been his plane. My son came downstairs first, and he had just turned four. So four-year-olds don't really have the concept of uh, death being irreversible. And then when my daughter came downstairs, she looked like she had been punched in the stomach because, of course, at age seven and a half, she did understand what it meant. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. At the time, the Lockerbie bombing is the worst act of terror ever committed against Americans. 